You know, when I walked into the, the induction ceremony, I, I kept thinking, you know, this is, this is way beyond me. This is way beyond this board. This is, this is a reward that uh, is for our community. It's for all of our members. It's for the board. It certainly, it's here now, but the, but the boards of the past. I don't think those pioneers realized what they were building. Our grandfathers, grandmothers, aunts, uncles, I think when the founders of the St. Paul Rodeo first had this 4th of July celebration for Independence Day, uh, they were just having a community get together. I don't know if they knew it was going to get this big, but I think the first crowds were so overwhelmingly uh, enthusiastic about rodeo that they thought, well, we just need to keep building on this. And it's turned into what it is today, and I, it's the greatest 4th of July rodeo in the nation. I think that they had a a twinkle in their eye when they, they knew that this was something pretty special that we had here. At some point in time, I think we on the board realized that there was a chance that we might be considered someday for the Pro Rodeo Hall of Fame. When we got the word, it was something that we felt was deserving and coming. We just didn't know when. When we found out, it set us back in a great way. Like we were so thankful, blessed, and appreciative to get the honor. It was pretty cool to walk around the hall there and look at all the inductees and past inductees and their memorabilia they put in there. Luke Branquino, who also got inducted that year, the last buckle he won before he retired was right here in St. Paul and it's it's sitting in the Hall of Fame right now. He, he came up to me and shook my hand and said, That's, that buckle's staying here. He said, that was a pretty proud moment for me. And those guys have all been in this arena. Uh, Cody Wright, Luke Franquino, Butch Knowles. Just to have a gang like that, and there's, there's hundreds more behind them who've done the same thing. And, and once they come here, they never forget it. It was an unreal humbling experience to be at the induction ceremony, especially walk around and look at the different uh, displays from all the heroes and legends of rodeo. To be a part of that in that same building, it's uh, a truly a, a, an emotional thing for all of us. We couldn't have done that without all the 400 and some uh, volunteers that are here all the time through the years. If it wasn't for the volunteers, we couldn't pull this thing off. and. Uh, they all have that common goal in mind, and we, we get there. We get there, sometimes it's not easy, but we get there. A lot of St. Paul helps out at this rodeo. I mean, the whole community. There's only 425 of us, I think the sign says, on, in town. So it pretty much takes the whole community to, to make this happen. Everything from working through the FFA kids to the St. Paul Parish, barbecue and chicken, uh, parochial school parking cars, the booster club selling concessions. It all comes together to make a heck of a rodeo. The induction ceremony in Colorado Springs was surreal for me uh, to see it and be there. Um, when they started playing the video of the black and white photos of the rodeo grounds and then turning to the color, current photos of the rodeo uh, really was uh, amazing to see and witness and know that everyone that was there from St. Paul um, had been a part of the honor that they were giving us there and, and that everyone back home watching was just as thrilled about it as we were. We really feel we've achieved what the great rodeos in this country have. We have arrived basically and it was a it was a great honor to get up there and accept that. I, I think it's just how we take care of the Cowboys, uh, they vote on it. They can tell you that they want to be in St. Paul. We've got surrounding rodeos that happen on the 4th of July weekend, and those guys will go run their run there, and they all come back here to St. Paul. So they like it here, and I think our, uh, our hospitality is pretty intense with the Cowboys, and they, they appreciate that. We haven't ever decided to sit still. There are some rodeos out there, I won't name any, who when they make more money kind of forget what got it for them, what, what made the class and quality of the rodeo. We know that there's some people in the stands that won't know a lot of names, just 
popping out of their head of, of contestants, but we also know that if the quality of the rodeo changes, people will notice, and we want to be on the top. It's, it's our traditions, it's, it's our hospitality, it's the sense of pride that we have in this rodeo that has really made it what it is today and what continues to push us to make it better tomorrow. Um, going to the Pro Rodeo, being inducted into the Pro Rodeo Hall of Fame, uh, just just validated, you know, that, that uh, what we're doing is a good thing. Uh, we want to continue to give back to the community. That's why I'm a board member, is I wanted to give back to, the, to this community. We support a lot of local community uh, clubs, uh, not just in St. Paul, but Newburgh, Woodburn, all the surrounding communities. And I want us to continue to do that.